What's up guys and girls of the internet? In this episode right here, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Docker. In my, our web series, in the Code of Me web series about uh, Docker for developers, um, when we first released it, uh, there was a toolbox for Docker that, you know, we asked you to install so you can work with Docker. However, there is an upgrade and the upgrade is actually massive and we have benchmark numbers to prove it too. So what I'm talking about here is the way we set up Docker on our computer. So there's two ways on the Mac and there's two ways on the Windows too. You can use a toolbox or you can use the Docker for Windows. Now this is a basically it's a native implementation of Docker because it actually runs on the hypervisor framework that is built into the OS. What that means is for the Mac version, you need to have Mac uh, OS uh, Yosemite or later in order for this Docker implementation to work. Now, if you have an older version, you'll still have to stick with the Docker toolbox. However, I do highly recommend that you upgrade your OS. So, you know, if you're working a lot with Docker, I'm going to show you some numbers and you're going to see how much faster it is uh, to use the native version of Docker. So uh, if you take a look over here uh, on the Windows version, you're going to need uh, at least a Windows 10 Pro 64-bit uh, because it uses the Hyper-V. On the Mac version, it uses uh, X-Hive over here, um, you know, which runs on the native, um, you know, hypervisor framework in the OS X, uh, in the Mac OS X. So uh, with that out of the way, let's actually take a look at the different implementations. So I'm going to start the Docker uh, for Mac over here. So Docker. Uh, so there's a quick start terminal. This is the one that uh, I am using for, you know, the older version that came with the toolbox. And the bottom one here is the one that is the new one, the native one, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start both of them and you're going to see how much faster the native implementation is. Um, so I'm going to start both of them. I already have the timings for both of them. I'm going to post the timing on the description below and uh, you're going to see it on the screen as well. So um, just to show you guys, so this is the process of starting uh, Docker. Uh, as you can see, this is with the toolbox. Um, you know, it took about uh, 40 seconds, 41 seconds for it to start. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the native version and how much faster that is. All right, so let's try the Docker native version. So over here, I'm going to start it up. And you're going to see over here, it's going to put it in the, the toolbar at the top. And as you can see here, it says Docker is starting. And in a second, in a few seconds, right there, it's now green and Docker is actually running. That's a lot faster. That's like magnitudes of, you know, like, I don't know, like four or five times much, much faster than the, um, the, the one with, that came with the toolbox. So um, if you're working a lot with Docker, I highly recommend you guys upgrade. Um, I'd also like to mention that we have released a new version of our website. Uh, if you want to see us produce more quality content, uh, do check out our membership program. We are a bootstrap business and we do need your support. Um, we are also, as a, as a way of saying thank you, we're also producing um, member exclusive content. So we have a Rails Foundation course and, you know, this is a, a continuous uh, thing that we're going to be doing. We're going to produce more exclusive member content. Um, so if you would like to support our channel and help us grow, help us get more people so we can produce even more quality content for you guys, do check out our membership program and we always appreciate your support. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one.